All right, guys, we're back. So I, what I did want to talk about today, and I'm going to do a whole video about this, and I might start making that the title of the videos for a while, but we, we've got to introduce the, the collar in, in an uninhibited state of mind, and I'm going to tell you what I've done. I need to watch out the camera. If I were you, I'd stand at the corner of that and you're not out in the open. I would stand right up in the What's what's happening? Make sure the is in on that. Uh, this is this is the behavior he does with Bob. Molly is perfectly playing the role of the overwhelming. Oh, she'll start biting my feet as soon as I walk. I'm going to show you how I'm going to introduce the Nick on this dog because I already know. You know. Yeah, not on me. Let me grab it. Should be on. It's not. Okay, it should be on. Oh, wrong one, I'm sorry. Sorry. Alright, try it. Not that that's going to inhibit his behavior because, and, and that was going to be what I was going to talk about anyway. We want the dog to be uninhibited. I, I'm going to introduce that the, the Nick is a because I do want to inhibit the dog. Remy, Remy, good, yay, yay, yay. So I follow through real quick with my Nick. That was on 38. And it, it, it was an overt head turn, but what it was, was I was right there, but you have to interject yourself into that scene. But that's, again, I'm, I'm not speaking directly about his behavior towards that dog. It is interrupting him, and it did inhibit him. Remy! Yada, yada, yada! That's what we say now, Stacy. that's the new phrase. It's not yay anymore. Yada, yada. Summer, me, Summer, Stacy. We're, in fact, we should start a Seinfeld fan club. And that should be my character's goal. To somehow go to New York and meet Jerry. And she goes along the way and stays with all her different clients. Because we have a couple different clients that are in New York. Uh, that girl that got Fez. And that girl, Karina. So she travels there and she meets Jerry. And then she just keeps saying... Remember the episode, remember the episode, and then finally Jerry just tells his bodyguards. No, wait a minute. No. <laughs> Summer knows this show really well. <laughs> Jerry Get rid of her. I can see it. Get rid of her. It's perfect. And that's the, that's the finale. All right, watch, watch, watch. Remy! I'll tell you right now, I heard my splash, which isn't a good sign. Remy! chase that dog again. No, no, it won't. But that make it work. I'm adding this to the dynamic. Yeah, I'm going to get him here in about 15. Remy. I won't 
tell you why I turned it down right there. Because of the proximity, he was that close. If if he went, I'm gonna tell you right now, if he went barreling across that field at top speed after the shuhua hua, yeah, I would uh, you know, use it a lot higher. But that, that's what you guys have to think of. I, I turned it down. I call it kind of half-lifing it, it, you know, depending on the proximity. So if it was twice as far away, okay, hang on. Remy! And I'm going to tell you what I did right there, you guys. I, I made a big judgment call. If, if summer, if we had the other cut shot of my finger, I was making a judgment call. Can I turn it? I, I knew I couldn't turn it from over there before he hit the water. But I had a couple things going for me. These were behind him. These were not ahead of him. Um, so I did just use my pager. But I was I was tempted. I was going to go to my nick. You don't want to overdo the nick. You don't want to start doing the nick. The nick needs to sort of have a tempo to it. You know, if I did the nick six times today, if that was the tempo here, there, there. But you can see he's shadowing this little shahua hua. You know, I'm him, he's shadowing this dog like the CIA on the Kremlin. I come up with these lines and stuff. Uh oh, uh oh. She's in distress. He heads right for her. Stacey, I hate to tell you this, but Remy's what we call a very poorly behaved dog at this stage. All right, so what I want to do, I'm looking. I'm looking and I'm thinking about what I want to do. I would like to maybe look at that little dog. Tell you what, that's, she's pretty brave to swim because I'm surprised he didn't dunk her. All right, I'm looking, for, I'm looking for my opportunity to get him away from her. I need him to be moving away. I'm not trying to... Remy... And that was a really low nick, and, and you kind of have to not kid yourself. Do I think that the dog really felt the nick, though, or that if it did feel the nick, that that really was this big training moment? No, no, no. All right, come on, let's walk around. Anyway, there was this terrible story on Facebook, and I, I mean, Facebook is not good for me. That's just me. The rest of the world, Facebook is fine for you, but not me. Anyway, but there was a thing on there. All right, I'm going to have my neck it's gonna be my next movie, just that way. Um, I'm gonna have to get that. So that's just what I'm saying to myself. I mean, I want to add the Nick. Do I want to drop the hammer? No, I don't. Do I want to keep reinforcing my recoil? Yes, I do. Do I want to have a dog that you know, maintains its attitude? Yes, I do. Do I want to introduce the Nick when it's in that agitated state of mind? Yeah, I do. All right, come on. Someone's like, is there anything you don't even know? There's not. Anyway, this Ivan, I don't really know how to pronounce his last name. I, Helen and them know him. Kurt and Helen know him. Um, he trains most of the and stuff. Anyway, this girl got in an accident on the turnpike. I'm not sure what the turnpike is. Maybe they mean 75. No, it's a turnpike. Uh, it's on the highway. Anyway, Pay tolls so, on the turnpike. Right, now, remember, I'm always looking for a dog that's out of, the, out of my sight. Oh, and I'll tell you what I like. Remy! Remy! No, and that's treat level yummy. Treat level yummy. All right, he's excusing himself in the bush as well. <laughs> oh, look at this bulldog, though. This bulldog will run off in a minute. All right, let's let this bulldog run off one time. All right, let me see if I can psychic call it. If I had said that like two seconds sooner, it would have been... <laughs> I got my pager right here, but I'm not. If it was like a magic trick, I'd go. Ah! Abba -cadabba. 
I'll tell you who's crazy as a loon, Molly. More of my psychic recalls. I mean, I don't know what to say other than I must be able to do it. I don't, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Energy. Energy. It's like, uh, Energy. it's like that book. Uh, I don't know if you ever read that, Stacey, The Seed of the Soul. The guy's name is Gary Zukov. He's, he's a little out in left field, but I mean, he's got some really interesting ideas and he does, you know, say like karma's an energy force, like that, you know, chick attacking me and stuff on Facebook. So all it did was just generate all this negative energy. Mm -hmm. So now I have to... Please don't tell me it's these freak shows cutting the trees down again. Oh, God. Come on. Uh, so now I have to go around and leave like 10 good comments a day on people's videos and stuff to make... Yeah. Right, look, I got a little dog going out of my sight. I'm only 35. Remy! I want to be able to say, good boy, to myself, I can push that dog with the nick. That's what I'm saying to myself. Maybe that'll make the title of the video, that I can push it, physically cause it to do something with the nick. Yeah. Not punish it and cause it to consciously say, I was a bad dog, I'll never do that again. That's not how it works. I can push it in my direction. And that's what I did. I could see him right there on the corner. And it pushed him. And then I, you know, I played my role by following through, you know, and, and I am maintaining the standard that the dog remains uninhibited. And there was there's probably people that would say, oh, it's too uninhibited. I don't think so. <laughs> He's losing it. All right, let's check out the magic forest. Look how pretty it looks in there. It's just so dark, mm -hmm. though. You don't have the right lens for that. Oh, my God, and I saw the best show on PBS, you guys. It was some, I think it was like PBS. And it was this guy, he was kind of like, seemed like kind of like a Louisiana kind of backwood boy or whatever, but he was a wildlife photographer and he was photographing his birds. And that's what the show was about. And we really should, a long time ago, oh, we could do a good one. Uh, I did a how to photograph your, uh, how to photograph your dog video. Because uh, I'll tell you people, what people know how to do. Anyway, but we could do one like an edited one, and you edit some a bunch of our pictures in there, like the good ones, and say, you know, here's what we do, because you could just try some of these tips. Right, look, so I'm gonna say to myself, can I push this dog with this paint or this nick? Remy. Quick little stinker. And I want to say to myself again, in your practical application, that does go back to what we did with them when they were puppies. Because, well, I, I don't know, I'm sure I probably showed you that on the video soon. But we would leave or you're imprinting them with, bye. So that's what I'm saying to myself. My job today is several different things, and that's what you guys have to understand. You better be able to multitask if you're going to train dogs, because my job is not just to add the nick. My no job is not to just continue to add the pager. My job is not to continue to reinforce the recall. My job is not to maintain animation. My job is not to, you know, maintain uninhibited. It's all of the above. My job is not to remain... All right, look, I'm going to tell you right now. No, you get on that dog over there. That dog is at an impasse. It, it sees the pond. It sees us. What's more interesting? See you later. I'm going to get him right now. Remy! He's pretty much one of the best. Let's so, go. again, he's not saying to himself, oh, she's just pretending to walk away. There's nothing hinky about the way I act. 
I don't suddenly make weird movements. I don't scoot around. I don't do jump. Occasionally I trip, but I think they figure that out about a lot of people. That's <laughs> <laughs> what people do. I trip over my own feet around all the time. here anyway, they trip us up a lot. You know, Molly likes to run and bite your feet. And, oh, the bulldog will wait until you're just getting ready to take a step and decide it needs to, you know, shoot over that way. And then Skylar, well, we won't even really talk about him. It's, <laughs> Skylar's we like, no, talk is, about him. oh my God, this is what I should do. If I need, I need to befriend somebody that does anime or something. Because if they just took the top off my house and then did... You know, like the above view. Skyler would be like a video game thing. Yeah. You know, that just goes around and then he just bumps into you. And no matter where you go, he is you go, he, under your feet. Be, uh, and, but I would set it to the music of Jaws. I, oh, I'll tell you what. I shouldn't have that in I'm going to tell you how much effect that had, not much. But I'm not going to worry about it. You know, I'll tell you what I've identified, Stacy, a problem with the dynamic here. And I'm going to tell you what the problem is. It's the same dynamic at your house. So, you know, that's going to have to be fixed. And it's just bullying. It's not playing. You know, Molly never hides by us like that. She's too busy. Well, she's too busy she's biting my feet. She's instigator. She's too busy biting my feet. Well, and that's kind of why we have her. Mm-hmm. I told you, this, this lady that, uh, you know, we adopted Molly from, like, about a month. This is, you know, actually a very funny story. I've told it before, but... Oh, like, after Molly had been here, like, a month. Uh, oh, I saw that one coming. I'm going to tell you what I did is I saw that one coming, and I went right to my... That humbled him up a little bit. You see that? Remy's little, uh... What he learned right there is, uh, homie, don't play That's, that. That ain't Molly. Yeah. Oh, and look at that. Get in on that. Get in on that. Yeah. Little instigator. There, that dog looked at me, and and if it was this, it was at your house. He would probably be trying to intervene, but I purposely had no reaction, and neither did she. Do you see how both her and I sort of have the same body language? And well, it kind of diffused it for now. Anyway, we're making cookies or something today. We have to just do a couple more videos, and I'm gonna practice getting them out of the water, though. So. You know, but I'm not saying to myself, let me just keep adding my neck or do anything like that. I've, I've done my, I don't know where Birdie was all this time. What was he back he there? He ran into the magical forest. He went all the way back there. To our magical forest. I'm looking around though. He's saying this one doesn't play it. This one doesn't play it by virtue of the fact Birdie doesn't have any reaction to him, and that's what I want, you know, that's what I say to you guys. If he comes over here by me right now, I'm making it quite clear. I'm not interested in any interactions. Kind of the way Summer and I act when we go out. Just with men. First ever. Put some bricks and mortar Especially and with men. Big wall! Alright, I got Remy. asking for a sit. If I see someone training a dog for a recall in the initial stage is making it sit. Well, I'm sorry, they lose me right there. What? what are you training it? How are you training it to sit? You know, and I don't understand why more of these e-collar trainers really haven't been exposed to, you know, Tritronics retriever training and three-action introduction and stuff. I don't understand it. 
And to me, there's that's really the only way to introduce it. Not heel, sit, down, stay, come. What about three basic behaviors? That crazy bulldog. Oh, he was being bad last night after you left too, Summer. I don't believe it. I'll tell you how he was being bad. All right, you guys. I don't, I don't know if Summer's just filming my knee in the dog. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. Uh, we'll be right back. I guess.